It's Big Baby Chief do it, man. I'm here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. What's my type? Hi, right, look. I don't I don't really got no type. I'm uh I don't, I don't discriminate. I like everything. Uh anything and everything. But what I like a lot is light skins that's shorter than me. Preferably like four foot nine. Big girls, little girls, extra, extra large, we do it all. If you had to cut off one toxic habit, what would it be and why? In my opinion, I don't have no toxic habits, but I guess I, I really believe in a lot. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really put up with bullshit. So they say you quote if you with somebody, you supposed to you know push through it and work it out. I don't do that shit. Ain't no working it out. I'm done. What's the wildest rumor you've heard about yourself? I was on TikTok and this girl was like, my big brother took his clothes and sold them. No, the fuck he didn't. Stop lying. It's a lot of stupid ass rumors. When was the last time you had to act a fool? Probably like a week ago. This girl, she just kept lying. And lying make me mad. I wasn't acting no fool fool, but like, ah, you know, I had to get aggressive. It was like, what are you lying for? And then I don't like when people lie and they be stupid ass lies. Lies that don't even make sense. It's like, what are you even talking about, bro? She was saying that she wasn't talking to nobody the whole time we was together or whatever. And she's like, you go through my Instagram. I get the Instagram, I'm looking through this shit, it's right in my face, everything. And she's still sitting here lying, like, I, I wasn't talking to nobody. Nigga, we, I'm looking at it, we looking at it together. Have you ever been cock blocked? Yes, by my cousin, d thing from 115. He cock blocked a lot. We be doing that shit to each other though. Like, we just be telling females bad shit about each other. On some hating shit. It is what it is. I don't like him, he don't like me. What is something you used to get in trouble for all the time? Cussing. I, I, I don't always cuss a lot. I like saying bad words. That's really it. I used to get in trouble with that a lot. Y'all, y'all damn near gonna see some videos like me when I was younger, just cussing bad as hell. I like saying the word fuck. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Fuck. I feel like cursing is not a bad thing to an extent. If it is not used to deter somebody and break them down, I feel like you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want to. What do you think people misunderstand most about you? That I, I be chilling. Like, I'm not no, I ain't no, Mean, mean, green, killing machine. I be chilling like I'm cool as hell. Like I'm a cool cat. I don't, I don't be on shit for real. Like I ain't no sweet ass nigga, but I be cooling. You know, I still like to do fun kid things. What's the biggest lie you have ever had to tell for a friend? The biggest lie I done ever told for a friend is me telling his female that he was with me. I said I don't be lying like that. I hate lying. I hate liars. I probably make some shit up, but I'll never lie. What's your idea of a perfect day? I got some money. I was surrounded by lots of pretty women. I talked to my mama. That's it. That's all that need to be done. Them is things I like. I like my mama. She cool, cool cat, just like me. And I like money and I like girls. Bad, 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 bad. What's the funniest memory you have from high school when I broke my hand? fighting. What's crazy is, bro, it was like a big ass, big ass fight. It was probably like 30 of us fighting in school. And after the fight, I went home. This probably like 30, 40 minutes after the fight. And I looked down at my hand and my hand had a big ass lump in it. I'm like, damn, my shit broke. It, it wasn't even my fight for real. It was like my homie. My homie got into it with this dude and he went and grabbed his homies. And somehow he felt like I was, we was the people to call. We wasn't even people to call. We ended up there. And what's crazy is I, we didn't even know we was gonna fight them. We was walking, walk, like walking out to school. The motherfuckers was just there. And we just ended up getting it on. They had big ass niggas with them all type of shit. I wasn't tripping though. I look bro, got around, hit the ping, 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 he fall, flow. I get up, bow, 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 bow. Motherfuckers come trying to jump me. I get up out of there, get the boom. I, I guess I hit the wall, or I hit the flow, or I hit a jaw, and my shit boxes fracture. Oh, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I know, all I know is I ain't lose shit. I was whooping ass. I was whooping ass. Cameras off, cameras on, ass was getting whooped. Nigga can't fuck with me one on one. That jumping shit, y'all can have that shit. But that one on one shit, y'all not fucking with me, gang. No bout.
What makes a woman childish? And you wanna argue all day, but you're not trying to solve the problem. I like to get straight to the point. How can I help resolve the problem? <sighs> you still rambling and rambling, rambling, rambling. Let's get this shit over with so we could make peace. Arguing is draining. I don't like draining shit. Cause once I get tired, I go to sleep. Another thing, if you, if you got a problem and you get that, never mind, don't even worry about it. It don't even matter. I don't even care no more. What the fuck is the problem? That shit, lame as hell. I don't like that shit. That's kid shit. What's the craziest thing you've done because of love? Probably paid for a fool. $13 to be exact. I ain't one of them type of niggas. You got, if you want me, or uh, if, I, if I want you, this shit gonna be raw. You not finna want me because of my money, because shit, you ain't gonna get it. Treat me, uh, I want you to look at me as a broke nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't play that shit. Do you take unfollows on Instagram personally? Hell the fuck yeah, I will get into it with your ass you wanna follow me on Instagram. Cause that means you don't like me no more. And once I unfollow you, I don't like your ass either. And once we see each other, it's bad shit gonna happen. What you wanna follow me for? Hmm? Exactly, nigga. That shit not cool. You could at least remove me as a follower, like, damn. What was the dumbest thing you believed as a child? When, when they used to tell me that, um, like, you know, in the car, how you got, like, the, the roof lights? Yeah. They used to tell me if we turned them on, you was gonna go to jail. I just found out that shit wasn't true, like, some weeks ago. That, sh that, was, that was fucked up. And the two fairy. How do y'all be making this shit up? What, what, the fuck, what the fuck is you making shit up for? That shit is stupid. I wouldn't, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna bring my children up with that fantasy shit. Like, all that Santa Claus. No, probably Santa. You gotta have Santa. But shit, I might be Santa. Um, bro, I might just tell him I'm Santa. So it can at least be a little real. You feel me? Damn. What is the brokest thing someone has done around you? So, from me, a girl, I was with a girl and I had, I had a pen in my pocket, like a weed pen. I don't smoke, that shit wasn't mad anyway. But my shit can't, I think I ended up setting my shit down somewhere. I set that shit down and I don't know when she slipped that shit in her pocket, but when she, when she, when she was sitting like on me and she got up, that shit fell out of her pocket and hit the ground and we just looked at each other in silence. What the fuck are you stealing for? That shit broke as hell. I don't like no thieving ass motherfuckers. I hate, I hate thieves and I hate liars. I don't have no respect for no motherfucker that steal. I've never seen her ass again. I don't even think we ever talked again after that. She got a, she got a fucking Uber. Never, we never crossed paths again. Oh yeah, that D thing from 115 nigga be stealing our houses too. Just saying. What is the pettiest thing you've done after a breakup? Trying like get at all her friends. That was pretty good. They ass ain't go either. So I just look dumb after that. I don't be doing no petty shit because I'm just too cool for that shit. I don't be caring. If you could change one thing about your city, what would it be? All the weird shit. It's too much weird shit going on in my city. I wish it was unity how it used to be. Ain't none of that shit no more. I wish motherfuckers all moved together instead of all that division shit. That shit lame. What's your city? Chicago. What's the weirdest DM you've ever received? It was like real sexual, like a real sexual weird paragraph. It was like descriptive too from a fan. And this was like early on in my career. I wasn't even famous for real yet. And I was just, I was just going through my shit. And it was a long, weird ass paragraph. And that shit just disturbed me. Like when I have a daughter, is she gonna be in rappers DMs doing this shit? I hope not. I need to start taking kids' phones. Don't let them have no damn Instagram. What is your biggest turn off? Clout chasing shit, groupie, groupie shit. Groupies, 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 groupies. There is no fucking reason we should be on the phone and you say, hold on, Faso calling me. Uh, hold on, Chucky calling me. What the fuck you mean? Why do you know them? I, I just don't like, I don't like, cause I'm gonna go through your followers if we talk. If I see any other rappers following you, automatic kill. That shit dead. We not gonna have no type of future. I don't even be tripping on no on no sex for real. Like, oh, I, I just, I'm gonna play my part. No, gang, I don't play that shit. That groupie shit did. What is a major red flag in friendships that people often overlook? Dick riding. If you have a friend and 
they choose some motherfuckers. I ain't gonna say choose, but they treat somebody that they barely fucking know better than you. Motherfuckers, dick rat, whoever, trend that gang. Like, you don't even know they ass, but you, hell no. That shit not cool. Be loyal to y'all friends, be loyal to y'all family, be loyal to y'all significant others, because them the motherfuckers who gonna be with you at the end, maybe. What is the hardest lesson a woman has taught you? Reap what you sow. Um, I was, I wasn't even doing no bogus shit for real, but I got into it with my girlfriend at the time. Uh, we was going through some rough shit, and apparently it was my fault, but then she just texted me out the blue and was like, reap what you sow. That shit scared me. I didn't know what it meant. But once I read, once I looked it up, and I figured that shit out, I was like, damn. So I, I fake, I fake live by that shit now. You gonna receive what you putting out. That shit made me like strict on how I move. Cause that shit is real, I done seen it. Big baby chief do it, man. I just wrapped it up with trash talk. If it ain't trash, then it's trash.